Under the Federal Administrative Procedure Act, or APA, federal administrative agencies may create rules to fill in the gaps of ambiguous statutes they're responsible for implementing. Generally, the APA provides for two types of agency rulemaking. First, informal rulemaking, also known as notice and comment rulemaking. And second, formal rulemaking, which requires a hearing resembling a trial. In Chemical Waste Management versus U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, the D.C. Court of Appeals considered whether a statutory requirement for a hearing meant that the agency needed to engage in formal rulemaking before creating a new rule. In 1976, Congress passed the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, or RICRA, to regulate the management and disposal of hazardous waste. Under RICRA, hazardous waste treatment, storage, and disposal facilities were required to obtain permits. Under Section 3008 of RICRA, the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, could enter orders assessing civil penalties for violations of regulations. The section also stated that, following such an order, upon request, the EPA shall conduct a public hearing. In 1978, the EPA promulgated procedural regulations to implement the public hearing provision of RICRA. The EPA implemented procedures for such a hearing provision so that the hearings conformed to formal adjudications under the APA. In 1984, Congress added to Section 3008 by permitting the EPA to issue corrective action orders to facilities that made unauthorized hazardous waste discharges. The EPA then promulgated procedural regulations providing that it could use informal adjudicatory procedures when a corrective action order required a facility to undertake interim corrective measures that wouldn't be particularly expensive or complex. This informal proceeding would be held in front of the EPA's regional judicial officer or another EPA attorney, who would review the record and make a recommendation to the EPA's regional administrator. The parties then could seek judicial review of the administrator's decision. Subsequently, Chemical Waste Management and Waste Management of North America, two hazardous waste facilities, filed a petition for review in the D.C. Court of Appeals, challenging the EPA's procedural regulation providing for informal hearings for corrective action orders.